a presentation is a, is a strong word, really. It's more of a statement that I want to make. And that is um, about a, a proposal that we have put forward and I hope will be taken forward within the next couple of months. Now, I want to just preface it by saying that I can't imagine that there's a single person in this room who would not agree that the destruction of a people's cultural heritage on the scale that we've recently seen in Iraq and the consequent attempt to deprive that people the legacy of its past and hence its identity represents an act of unspeakable inhumanity. And yet, fortunately, it simply isn't possible to totally eradicate the ancient past, no matter how severe the attempt. Something always remains. And it is, after all, that something that those of us who are archaeologists work with all the time, using the debris of the ancient abandonments and destructions to reconstruct civilizations and history. And so it is that whilst we can't do anything to prevent what's happening in those parts of Iraq and Syria controlled by the so-called Islamic State, we can at least prepare for the time when it will be possible, once again, to access these areas. And yes, as John Curtis has rightly said, huge resources are going to be needed, both in terms of manpower and money, when that time arises. And we can't predict whether we're talking about one year into the future, two years, five years, even ten years. But what I do believe is we have to do something now. And so what we are going to do at the British Museum is to create a specialised training programme leading to the creation, if you like, of a specialised task force based initially at the BM and subsequently in the field in Iraq. This would be a task force designed or trained, if you like, in all the skills of emergency heritage management. Specifically, what we're going to do very soon, we hope, is to recruit two archaeologists, experienced archaeologists, who have worked in Iraq for a period of five years in the first instance. They would institute a six-month training program at the BM to which four heritage sector Iraqi professionals at a time would be invited. And we'll work closely, obviously, with the Iraqi authorities to choose the right people. The program will be devoted to museum and site disaster work, construction and manipulation of databases, digitization of ob objects, documents, emergency retrieval strategies, forensic collection and documentation methodologies, extensive multi-purpose photographic training, principles of conservation, architectural restoration, techniques of recording and data representation systems, and so on and so forth, an intensive course. Following the six-month training period, these BM curators or archaeologists would return to Iraq with the trainees in order to set up programs within their museums or institutions using appropriate computer and photographic equipment to revive the documentation of existing collections and develop strategies to cope with the very diverse requirements of archaeological site management. A core element within this second six-month period will be the detailed instruction in techniques of rescue archaeology involving the establishment of joint training excavations. So the effect of this rolling program, which as I say we want to start almost straight away, will be to create a large and well-trained core that can cope with the full range of archaeological heritage needs when it becomes possible and to survey the archaeological landscape of Iraq in whatever parts become accessible. And this will mean that local heritage professionals will be fully qualified to respond to the realities of recent damage and establish priorities for action and best practice. Thank you.